Girl Guiding Glasgow celebrates at home. Hello everyone at Girl Guiding Glasgow. My name is Mr Cameron and I am here today to read you a story. Now I've heard about all the amazing activities you've been taking part in as part of your 100 year celebration of Girl Guide in Glasgow and all the efforts you've been making towards your 100 points to get your Give, Grow, Go badge. So today I'm going to read you this story and then I'm going to set you a challenge to earn some more points for that badge. Now this is a story called The Night Pirates by an author called Peter Harris and Deborah Allwright. Now this story is about a boy and how he uses his imagination to make up a story. Now, listen to the story and then we will talk about your challenge. The Night Pirates by Peter Harris and Deborah Allwright. Down, down, down the dark, dark street they came, quiet as mice, stealthy as shadows. Up, 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 the dark, dark house they climbed, stealthy as shadows, quiet as mice. Only the moon was watching them when they arrived. Only the moon was watching them when they left. Only the moon and one little boy. Tom was a nice little boy. Tom was a brave little boy. Tom was a little boy about to have an adventure. Who were these shadows as quiet as mice, stealing away with the front of Tom's house? Maybe monsters or trolls, maybe ogres or gremlins. Maybe bandits or pirates. Pirates? Ooh. Pirates, rough, tough, little girl pirates with their own little ship. A ship set for sailing, a ship off on adventures. A ship stealing the front of Tom's house for disguise. But what about Tom? Could he join the crew? Please let me aboard. Can I come too? Will they let him? And did the girl captain say, Certainly not, you're only a boy. Oh no, not at all. Instead she roared, Welcome aboard! Then up went the sails and up went the flag. Then off sailed the rough, tough little girl pirates. The little girl pirates and their shipmate Tom. But where were they going? To an island where Captain Patch and his really rough, tough, grown-up pirates were snoozing around their full treasure chest. Then Captain Patch saw something. Something very strange. Something very strange indeed. What could he see? A house sailing towards them, getting closer and closer, a house sailing towards them with a little boy waving hello. Oh, I've seen a house, Captain Patch declared. We've all seen houses, said the captain. Who cares? Don't just lie there, do something, Captain Patch roared. But the pirates went back to sleep and just snored, while the house sailed nearer and nearer until... Out leapt the girl pirates, and out leapt Tom, and out leapt a fearsome roar. The pirates gaped, the pirates goggled, then the pirates all ran away. So Tom and the girl pirates sailed away with the treasure, while the rough, tough, grown-up pirates hid in the trees. Captain Patch stamped his feet and shouted his worst pirate curse. If you don't give me my treasure bag, I'll tell my mum. But off they had sailed, all the way home. Down, down the dark, dark streets 
they came quiet as mice, stealthy as shadows. Up, 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 the dark, dark house they climbed, stealthy as shadows, quiet as mice. Only the moon was watching them when they arrived. Only the moon was watching them when they left. Only the moon and one little boy. Tom was a brave little boy. Tom was a sleepy little boy. Tom was a boy who had had an adventure and no one would ever find out. Would they? And that's the story of Tom on his nighttime adventures with the Night Pirates. Now, I said at the start, Tom used his imagination in this story, and I think he did. I think while he was fast asleep in his bed, all of this was happening in his dream, and he was coming up with this amazing story about those very brave girl pirates. Now, my challenge for you is to come up with your own story. I want you to use your imagination to create fascinating story. It could be an adventure. It could be a love story. It could be anything you like. Even a comic story would be great. I would like to see anything that you can write about. It's your choice what the story is about, but it has to be a really great story. And it has to get your reader excited, just like The Night Pirates. That was such an exciting story for me to listen to, but for you to listen to and for me to read and listen to. So, I want your story to be just as exciting and it can really be about anything you choose. It just has to be your own creative story. I cannot wait to see these stories and hear these stories and I just wish you all the best of luck to get your points towards your Give, Grow, Go badge. Good luck. Girl Guiding Glasgow celebrates at home.